And that's where we begin tonight. The family of Vanessa Guillen, the soldier murdered on Fort Hood three years ago, is speaking out about the case of 20 year old private Ana Basadua Ruiz, who was found dead on Fort Hood earlier this month. Welcome in tonight. I'm Lindsay Lippman. Glad you're here, everybody. I'm Chris Radcliffe. Now, as this investigation into Anna's death continues, Guillen's family says they are watching the case quite closely. Six News reporter Nicole Sheeran spoke with Guillen's sister and joins us live in studio tonight to tell us more about their conversation. What did she have to say, Nicole? Guys, after facing a similar nightmare, Vanessa Guillen's sister, Myra, decided she was ready to speak out in honor of her sister, Anna, and those that have lost their lives to sexual harassment. You know, it was very much like in shock because that's what we were trying to avoid the whole time um, for there to be another case similar to my sister's. Nearly three years after the death of Vanessa Guillen, her sister Myra is seeing another family live their own nightmare. 20 year old private Ana Basaldua Ruiz found dead on Fort Hood. It's like I was reading the headlines of my sister's case all over again. And it was hard to accept the fact that it happened once again and in Fort Hood once again. And a Latina once again, a young female soldier. It just completely brought everything back. Before specialist Guillen died, her family said she complained about sexual harassment. I never knew that, you know, sexual harassment, sexual misconduct overall was a big problem in the military until, of course, my sister went through it and um, we all know what happened. So it's all because of her, um, for her memory. And it's a similar story for Basaldua Ruiz. Fort Hood officials say that she killed herself. Her parents say she had complained to them that she was continuously sexually harassed on post. We have so many young people that want to join, but when they read cases like these, you know, it makes them doubt themselves and it shouldn't be that way. It should be, you know, you should be able to serve proudly and honorably and not be afraid of, you know, showing that it can be done. Fort Hood officials held a press conference on Friday stating that no foul play in the Vasaldua Ruiz case is suspected at this time, calling anyone facing harassment to please come forward. I would hope that they are actually doing what they meant as in having people uh, report the harassment directly and just try to better themselves and see how they're going to handle this situation firsthand. Myra is planning to hold a March for Justice event next week in Washington, D.C. to fight for justice, rights and protections for soldiers. This evening, she posted on Twitter saying that volunteers are needed for this call to action and we will keep you updated on a specific date when it is announced. All right, Nicole, thank you so much. And as she just mentioned, Myra, her family, as well as many state and federal lawmakers have been fighting for military reform when it comes to sexual harassment allegations. They were able to get parts of the I am Vanessa Guillen Act signed into law. Yeah, it's all part of the National Defense Authorization Act. President Joe Biden signed at the end of 2021. It includes removing commanders from involvement in sexual harassment or sex assault investigations, ensures a service members commanders no longer handle the prosecution of these crimes and protects against retaliation. It's important to note LULAC has called for the FBI to investigate Balsadua Ruiz's death. We will keep you updated as we do learn more.